you're listening to the radio sound, which you must be if you hear me, uh, and your neighbors aren't sure about what the radio sound is, let them know that it's 90.7 FM on the radio. If we do have a large crowd, um, I ask you to please be very courteous to each other. Please make sure you're not blocking other people's view. Make sure your headlights and taillights are turned off. Um, since we converted to our digital projection system, I've had some challenges with locating old time uh, intermission and just preview clips, uh, things that we used to do traditionally in the theater. And I found a couple of resources this winter. And one thing I learned that traditionally they would start their movie off, their feature each night off with the national anthem. We love the nostalgia of our theater. And so we will be starting off tonight's feature with an old school uh, clip of the national anthem. So I hope you enjoy that. Big crowd tonight. Hope you all have a good time. The show will start in about five minutes. My name is Mike Spees. My wife and I uh, are owners, managers of this drive-in theater. My name is Lori Spees, and I've been in the Walla Walla Valley my whole life. I'm not going to tell you how long that is. No, 57 years. You know, most of our dates were coming out here. <laughs> she was a cheap date. <laughs> you know, we'd come out here. I could come in here and work at intermission and actually make money while I was on my date. I just remember sitting and watching the movie, and then there's this voice coming over <laughs> the, the intercom, and I'm like, what the heck is that? Because that's my dad. <laughs> and I, uh, Mike Spees, could you please come to the snack bar? Mike Spees, come to the snack bar. And that... That was basically what I remember of the first day. I've always been out at the theaters. In fact, they lived in a single wide trailer behind the Roundup Drive-In Theater in Pendleton. I was born in a hospital, but that's, that's where we lived when, when dad and mom started their family. Mom would dress us up in the pajamas and we'd lay in the car and dad would be in there working and he'd, he'd make some announcement over the speakers and we'd grab the speakers and try to talk back to him. Back in the day, the horns would honk if the movie went down. So he's back there and he's trying to get everything put together and he finally gets something, gets it pretty much put together and there's still one horn out there that's just honking, honking, honking. And I walk out there, it's our six-year-old son <laughs> that's honking the horn. Dad, the movie's broke, the movie's broke. I have um, four brothers and a sister and I have um, 15 15 nephews and a couple of nieces, and they have all worked out here. This is our 58th summer, and uh, we just, it's a family, it's kind of like a family farm, only it's a movie theater. Family businesses will not exist unless you are down here and you're working it. That's what Mike's dad instilled in Mike and his family. Dad purchased this drive-in in 1961. Oh, he's a hoot, yeah, we love him. Dick's a great, he's a great guy. This former student of mine, Lee Rutledge is his name, he comes in, he goes, Mr. Spees, there's a drunk guy out there impersonating you. Well, he's walking around with a beer in his hand, talking to everybody, telling me he's the owner of the drive-in. And so I'm like, okay, I know who that is. So I go out, sure enough, dad's going car to car, talking to everybody. I said, dad, you can't do this. And he says, these are my people. When we had the windstorm in 2008 and it had um, blown over, there was a huge support of the community. We knew the people liked the driving, but it was really affirming to de Dad, especially. I mean, Dad was in tears. You know, we're sitting here in the snack bar. People just kept coming by and, you know, trying to write us checks. But that really affirmed to us that, that the drive-in theater is important to our community. Do you think that this drive-in is the glue that has kind of held this community together? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think so. I really do. And, and it's interesting because we have so many people, too, even from that are coming from the Tri-Cities area and Pendleton and Hermiston. And we have people that are coming from Clarkston that come and say, hey, you know, my kids have never seen a drive-in. And, you know, they'll come from everywhere, but it's the local people that really make this drive-in work. Facebook is an awesome avenue for us. We have thousands of followers, but that is my wife's deal. I don't even know how to get on Facebook. You know, I love the Facebook page and the fact that it gets my information out there, but the funny part is, is anytime somebody kind of 
makes a, a derogatory remark about the drive-in. Our regular customers will just defend the heck out of us, and it's, which is nice to see. We had somebody was upset because we don't accept debit cards. And somebody got on Facebook and said, why don't you guys get with the 21st century? And everybody just, it's a drive-in. We don't want to be in the, that's not, we go out there because we don't want to be in the 20, anyway. So yes, the Facebook page is, it, you get a real snapshot of society that way. I wish everybody could experience it. And there's so many kids that don't even, you say we're going to a drive-in and they have no idea what you're talking about. When I look at the old speaker post, and I look at the old posters on the wall from our drive-in in Pendleton and the, the old posters from the drive-in here in Mountain Freewater, um, I do think about those times. I would have told them not to get rid of the speaker post. I still wanted two or three rows of speaker posts so people could pull back there and then hang that speaker. I really wish we had, had done that. This whole technology thing just keeps moving. There's probably going to come a time, probably in the not too distant future, where people can watch a movie on whatever device they want right when it comes out. We can't really change anything. We have to kind of keep up with the times, but we still want to keep that nostalgia. Hopefully, we're unique enough in what we offer that there'll always be a niche for us. I suppose as long as Mike and I are out here, it'll still be here. I'm not quite sure what's going to have to, maybe Murphy. I don't know. He might be able to run it by then. You guys asked me early, do you ever see yourself not being out here? I really don't. Um, see myself not being out here, but I know that's going to happen at some point. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe somebody, just some movie buff will come out and just want to buy it and take it over. I hope so.